sounds like a cool sound that you would like to make, then uh, stick around. We're going to jump right into it. So I'm going to start by initializing the preset. Hopefully I can make this again. Just kidding. I can. I, th I think I can. So today we're going to be using oscillator A, oscillator B, the noise oscillator, and LFO1, which I will do later. But um, with oscillator A and B, we're just going to be turning those up to 7 unison on both of these. And um, oscillator B is going to be one octave up. So with the oscillator A, we're going to be keeping the detuning um, pretty wide. And then with the oscillator B, we're going to um, make it pretty thin. So. so that you get kind of that wide lower end and then that, that very sharp um, high end that you hear in a lot of strings. And then we're going to bring the level of oscillator A down a bit. Um, I think I had it around 60. It's a little loud, so we'll take that down a little bit. So yeah, I think that sounds pretty good. So then we're just going to um, hop over to the noise oscillator, and I'm just going to use uh, bright white. Just one I use a lot, I know. <laughs> but uh, bring that down to about, I don't know, we'll say seven. Honestly, it's just a little texture thing. It's not, um, you can barely hear it. So then on uh, envelope one, we'll just be uh, giving it a little bit of an attack. I'd say around 150 milliseconds. And then bring down the uh, decay a little bit and bring, give it a little bit of a release. I think maybe actually a little less attack. I don't know. That wasn't a, that was not a good chord to play, but um, you, get, you get the point. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we're starting to Starting to get that uh, sound pretty good. So, done with the envelope one, so we'll hop over to LFO one. And we're, we're really just gonna detune both of these a little bit. Um, I think you can, I think I had it on a bar, turn the rate to a bar, and then just um, put it on the fine tuning, like round five, I believe. See how that sounds. Play that chord again. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I keep playing that. Yeah, so that sounds pretty good. Um, you can always change the rate of this. I think one fourth could be good. Yeah, you know, I think I think I like that better actually. We'll leave it on uh, one fourth. So um, this page is all done. So we're just gonna. Go to the effects section now. And first thing we're gonna enable is the chorus. And we're not gonna touch anything on here. We're really just gonna bring the mix down to about 30%. This is just to um, make the sound sound a little bit wider. Um, and just adds kind of a, a cool effect to it, I think. Makes it sound a little bigger. And then enable the delay here. Sorry, I know I don't have to play chords every time I add something, but it's just habit. Um, <clears throat> so delay, we're really just giving it a little bit of delay. You can bring this down to about 20%. I just kind of like, um, as far as stream, string sounds go, like usually they're played in some kind of auditorium or something. And with that, you get kind of the natural um, delay obviously you know the the reverberation of it, it bouncing out the walls so I just do like that even if it's not like a lot I think it it, it definitely adds something it makes the, the string sound a little more realistic and then just add a uh, reverb on here 
and we're actually gonna we're gonna crank this reverb crank crank it farther than you've ever cranked before <laughs> So yeah, that sounds like, I love that sound. And you can always mess with the reverb too. Um, if you want it to be more of in a, in a smaller space, of course you can turn the mix down, but for this, we want it to be big, big. So that's all done. So then we're just gonna throw on an EQ just to get those lows out, just as a high pass filter. Anyways, that's uh, that's pretty much the sound right there. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you could drop a like, subscribe, really helps me out. So um, yeah, I would super appreciate it. So um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.